Hey guys, how's it going? This is Lady Fantastic. We've got Marvel Boy over here uh, showing a demonstration of courage by caring about his fellow man. And that's a marvelous behavior. See what it did there? It's called wordplay. Anyways, um, first of all, I would like to announce that I have had a 500 sub contest and the winner was supposed to be announced on the 15th of August. On the 14th of August, we lost someone very dear to the community and it threw me for a loop as it did, I'm sure, very uh, many other people. Um, so I am having the contest winners uh, drawings announced Tuesday. Uh, that is September 1st. And uh, I'm probably going to have some other, some more. I said I'm drawing one person, but because things have been crazy and I just realized, like, I just like giving things away, I'm going to be drawing more names and there'll be some other giveaways. It's not just going to be one person, is what I'm saying. So it's worth it for you to be there um, because um, I'm kind of a big deal. No, anyways, uh, just kidding. So I just wanted to get that out of the um, out of the air. And um, uh, Rob and I are going to show some comics that we like because we're children. So with that being said, Rob, you have not had the chance to show anything. Um, and I feel like you need to do that. I feel like you deserve to throw a big chunk um, to the people. So do you want me to make you big and show your stuff? Yeah, I can go big for a second. I'm just gonna show a stack that's over here. I have this Alpha Flight, which isn't all Alpha Flight. This is just a mix, but it's all in alphabetical order. Starting with Alpha Flight, it goes all the way down through New Mutants, all the way down through Uncanny uh, Exports. My Independent Pile and my DC Pile. So which one should I start with first? Bro, get the nasty DC out of the way, because I want to save the best for last. Okay. So I went to my buddy, uh, Orlando. You might know him on Instagram as Pablo Ordone. He puts up pops a lot of times, but he has a warehouse full of comic books. And I got a chance to go through it uh, just the other day. I first went on Wednesday. I've got a whole bunch of them. I said, no, I'll just wait until the weekend and show it on Lady Fantastic's show. So I went back on Friday night, and it was Friday night that news broke of Mr. Bozeman. So I'll show you what I wound up getting that day, but when I was there, uh, it was, which one? It was this one particular book that was at the top of my stack. Let's see if I can get to it real quick. Holy shit, no. <laughs> Look what happens when we have that's a really slippery comic book. That's never happened to, to anybody else ever before. This is the first time ever. On a I've live stream. Happened. All right, so it was on top of this book, my phone. And that's when the news came through. And we were taking a look on eBay and yeah, people were just paying crazy prices for the books. And I was just trying to fill the holes that I didn't have in my run. But let me put that back into the stack because we'll get to the best as we say for last. So let's get through these dirty old DCs and hope that all this doesn't fall and crash and burn like my life sometimes. Oh yes, <laughs> love it. <laughs> All right, let's change the camera. What's up? No, nope, just keep changing camera. Oh, All sweet. right, so here we have Batman Beyond. It's volume two, not volume one. I have most of the issues from the first volume. I don't have a number one. Got me a Blue Beetle number three. I have a quick question. Um, the mask of the phantasm to your right, is it the full size or is it the little mini size? It looks that is the That is the deluxe size. Ooh, I've never seen that one actually in person or like anybody that's owned it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. all right. Go ahead. No, I've, I've only seen the little one is what I'm saying. There we go. Just fixing the camera here a little bit. I don't know if that actually worked. 
Yeah, I think that actually worked. Okay, let's just fix the autofocus a little bit because, holy crap, that's a little bit blurry. There we go. All right. So this is the first appearance of Peacemaker, and I got most of these for a few bucks. They're not, like, all in mint 9-8 condition or anything. Picked up a nice chunk of Catwoman, and... All right, so he let it go for me a little bit cheaper because I was the one initially that sold him an entire run of Catwoman and Wonder Woman. So I am basically just buying most of these back. Because <laughs> back in the day, these were cheap. These were dollar bin issues. But uh, he does these shows all around Miami and South Florida, Broward County, the Keys, wherever have you throughout Florida. And he brings all these bins places. So Is that or Orlando you're talking about? Ordonia? Yeah, Orlando. I mean, his name is Orlando. I know him as Orlando. All the people that go to his show, they all call him uh, Pablo. Oh. I've never called him Pablo. I don't know why I call him Orlando and everyone calls him. I, I don't understand it. You don't call him Comic McComic Face? I could, but I have other people that I kind of. Oh. So this kind of blew up over the weekend too. This is the first uh, weasel. Not gonna last. Not gonna last. Sorry. At all. But it's a Not dollar in mind. <laughs> really, this is like DC's version of Rocket Raccoon. This is, I mean, and he's Weasley. not even on the cover. Or the weasel. Yeah. Now, just like our boy Miracle Man, he picked up these issues, so uh, I, I did too. And I have a good run of the Flash, but I didn't have these. Hey, Ruben, what's up? Oh, and thank you for the Batman. Uh, the Batman, oops, the Batman that is on the left right here had a sticker. And that sticker I just removed with a heat gun. And this Batman right here, perfect condition. I mean, both of them are basically always going to be $5 books. Just because right now they're 20 or 30 doesn't mean they're, they're going to go right back to 5 They were printed. Th there was a heavy print run. This one I was glad to find. I mean, this was like a $3 issue all day long until recently. But we still don't know if the new Gotham show on HBO Max is going to be that or something different. I'm going to guess probably something different. This is the first appearance of Blackfire, appears in the Titans show. I only had issues 1 through 10 of New Teen Titans, so figured might as well pick up some of the keys. Trying to put together a run of Wonder Woman and have a whole stack of them over here that are not bagged and boarded because I ran out of bags and boards. Can I ask your thought on the, uh, thoughts on the um, John Byrne Wonder Womans in like the 100s where Joe Jusco is doing the art? I don't so, know so much because I didn't read those. No. Oh. I mean, I read the originals with uh, the George Perez, some of the Monix, um, and then skip way far ahead into like the 200s when she killed Max Lord. Uh, a lot of stuff in between. I just never got around to reading. Oh, wowza. Yeah, I was only missing uh, four issues of Zatanna, so now I'm only missing one more, which unfortunately is the very final issue. Hey, Steven Spock. Ruben. Ace. Hey, Ace. Christopher. All right, and those are all my DCs that I picked up. Oh, show us some more, bro. I just felt really bad for you because you just never got a chance to show anything. So you deserve a, a big chonk chonk at Wait, the beginning. What, what are you talking about? On the show on Wednesday? Yeah. Or did you get to show some of your stuff? Oh, I didn't show any of this stuff. Because yeah. So, I mean, you, you need to show some shit. So here's Aliens. I'm working on a series. Back when I was a kid, I tried getting the first issue. I gave money to my parents saying, all right, I want to get this series as it's coming out. In the back of this magazine, I can just send payment. And I had it all ready. And my mom said we needed it for rent. So you need to do a what? They needed it for rent. 
Oh, man. So I never got my aliens. So now I'm finally getting my aliens. I have the first issue, but now this is issue four and issue six. Growing up in the 80s was fun, right? Hey, wait a minute. I got an Aliens one from Dark Horse. Yeah, so do I. Oh. Well, if I anybody one, wants it. Four it and six. Just need a two, three, and five now. Sweet. Just like me. This might have even been the issue that I sold him back in the day, but I always loved this series, and I met the creator back in the day, and I thought he was cool. So I always thought that this might go somewhere, like, TV show, cartoon. It was violent. It was stylized. I liked it. Mm. Go ahead. I said, who was the creator? You were saying? Oh, who? Jason Pearson. Oh, okay. He's done some work in DC here and there, some Marvel. This was just an issue of the boys I was missing. Same with Butcher Baker Candlestick Maker. Now, I cannot show the interior, but this is signed on the first page by David Quinn and artist Tim Vigil. Very was cool. Open fast. Yeah, if I, if I open up the first page, uh, we're going to get yanked down immediately. <laughs> now, this is the earliest edition of first print of Haunted Mansion from uh, Slave Labor Graphics through Disney. Uh, this would be like a nothing issue, and it is all day long, but in decent condition. And the fact that they're trying to make a movie of this again, but who knows if movies are really going to happen in theaters the way that they used to, but uh, speculating and it was only a couple bucks. Very nice. Very nice. This was something I finally get to buy back again because I know for a fact, I sold it to him back uh, almost a decade ago. Part of the run of the max. I only need a few more issues. Like issue Did you have 30. the one with the cat? The cat? Yeah, the one with like the cat on it. You would know what I'm talking about. You don't have it. I probably don't. I'm gonna go get it for you. I have it's at mine. I have that one. Yeah, I didn't even know about this. Oh, that's not that that's number you have number two two, or is that three? This is issue one. Oh, wait, no, this is yeah, this is issue one. Uh, there's uh, three issues of this, and apparently this came out after the conclusion of 35 Yeah, it, Friends of it, Max? It, yeah. Yeah. I have the last issue of the Friends of Max. Ooh, I need to get... Oh, like, it's the one with the buffalo on it. It's got like a buffalo on it. Oh, cute. This I was excited to pick up because I was a fan of the Jim Carrey movie back in the day. I have Mask 1 through 4. I do not have Dark Horse Presents 10, but now I have a Mayhem number one. And I only got a chance to go through about a fourth of his collection, or uh, maybe a fifth. It, it, he has a large collection. Uh, so I'll probably go back and hope that he has a two through four. But that's all the DC, that's all the independent, and all I have left is Marvel. So maybe we should uh, learn uh, going through some books. So do you want me to show a chunk and then you hit into the marbles? Yeah, go right ahead. Oh, okay, cool, William Smallwood. Yes. Yeah. Work on a list and show it to me. And like, uh, sorry, just message me. But yeah, Spock and I, like, man, for Spock, man, I find him all the reflection collections for G-Man. I find him all the, like, campy horror and, like, Bronze Age horror and for like Rob, I find him like DC Universe variants or just like anything. I love searching for other people. You never know what you're going to find in a cheap bin. I'm just straight up going to tell you, like, right, meow. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. You, you, just can go and find, you can go tomorrow right after work and go, I will find whatever is like a main major book from the last 10 years and I'll find it right meow. Right. Meow. For a so, quarter. For Mm, sometimes 35 cents, sometimes 75 cents, sometimes 90 cents, sometimes a dollar 25. But I paid. this was a dollar. Sometimes it's worth it. So, what I want to show you guys with the Thor, the Donny Cage Thor, and all this chirping and chirping about crossovers, and then we've seen some covers that have shown some pretty rad crossovers. I want to show you guys what was like the staple crossover event of my childhood which was the amalgam series 
and the uh, comics that I have. So I have um, Spider Boy here, where we've got uh, Superboy and Spider Man. And uh, where does it say, with great power comes great possibilities? Look at this. A lot of really great guys worked on these. Um, and some of them were just excellent. So then we have Super Soldier, um, a man of war, where you've got like Sergeant Rock or something mixed with uh, Captain America. Yeah, there you go. Sergeant Rock and the Howling Commandos. Exactly. I like the Superman shield. Um, but these were fun. Oh, this is one of the great, uh, like Thorion. Um, this is mixing Thor with um, or Orion from uh, the New Gods, right? I mean, from Kirby's like fourth world or whatever, fourth dimension, um, or is it fourth world? I'm a little, I've been drinking a beer. Sorry. Um, and then uh, we've got uh, bullets and bracelets. So you've got here um, Punisher and you, do you have Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad 48? Um, and Diane, obviously with their little bullets. So that's kind of fun. Uh here we go. This is a great one. Dr. Strange Fate, right? And look at that. I think it's from like a pack because it doesn't have a thingamajigger. You know what I'm talking about. Um, Iron Lantern, so the Green Lantern and uh, Iron Man. So I don't have the one that like everybody usually wants, which is Bat Claw or something like that. Uh, JLX, number one. So Justice League and X-Men, and then JLX Unleashed, number one. This is a great one, pretty staple. Lobo the Duck, trapped in a world he never fragged. You guys need to get this. It's still pretty cheap if you want to find it. Um, the exciting X-Patrol. So, I don't know, like X-Factor, Doom Patrol, something fun like that. X-Force, Doom Patrol, Generation Hex. That's pretty fun. Hola! Babs and Joker. Uh, Speed Demon, this one's badass. This is um like uh, the Ghost Rider with the Flash. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, we've got... Uh, Magneto and the Magnetic Men, and that is a newsstand, which is a little tougher to find. And I think this is the final one. This is the Magnetic Men featuring Magneto. So you got the little reverse, reverse. But uh, anyways, uh, oh, and this is the last thing. It's probably the most badass thing. Um, this is Busiek and um, Perez, JLA Avengers, um, book one. This is classy. Anyways, um, that's what I have uh, for now. And um, Rob, I've just put you in the window. If you want to show a chonky chonk, you are on mute. I don't hold that against you. Yeah. I am totally silent Bob oftentimes when I do shows because I want to be very respectful. But at this point, it looks as though I am ready to start my Black Panther portion of Marvel because... Do uh, it. I'll show my Black it. Panther portion after you do. Yeah, I can go through about a quarter because uh, I have like all this in chunks. This would be one quarter, another quarter, another quarter, and another quarter, and I think we're good. I like comic chunks, bro. All right, I'm going to blow you up. Boom. All right. So here we go. I'm putting my Alpha Flight issue 53 underneath the microscope. I completely forgot about issue 51. I know I must have seen a 51 that was there, but at least I got me a 51. Oh, sexual chocolate. Here is Jim Lee's first Marvel cover. And awesomely enough... It's a Wolverine cover. His first work came in Alpha Flight 51, but it was interiors. So. What year is that? This is 1987. Interesting. Now, this is something that I've been missing, and uh-oh, I hope I don't miss that auction. 
Oh, good. I still have 30 more minutes left because I'm missing only a few issues of Amazing Spider-Man. This is one of them. Uh, the other one is issue 573, and I'm waiting on an auction right now in 30 minutes for the Stephen Colbert cover uh, of 573. It's one of the last issues I have left. In what? Of Amazing Spider-Man. Well, at least Stephen? from like no, 400. It's, is it, or is it Obama 583? No, that's not the... I, I have the Obama one. This is oh. the Stephen Colbert cover swipe of uh, Amazing Fantasy 15. I have that Falcon one where it's that. Cool. It's not AF, actually. It's 573 is the only one I'm missing, so I'm like, I might as well just spring a couple extra bucks for the uh, the specialty cover. Now, he had a Wraith 2 and uh, two and 3, but no 1 and 4. I might be able to find it, but I didn't find it uh, the other day. I'm sorry, but that shit makes me crazy. Yeah. He said that he had... Uh, in issue one, but he sent all of them already off to CGC. Oh my Christ, what yeah. number is that? This is issue 215 of Avengers. Silver Surfer and Tiger, baby. Damn. And What's Molecule. up, Tapias? Issue 172. I don't know why I have two... 15 oh. ahead of all that, but okay. Uh, 172 of Avengers. I was missing this. I need that. Is hey, um, Papias Family Unlimited is complimenting your two Batmans, bookending your stack. Oh, well, thank you very much. Meow, meow. Hey, Jess O'Kelly. And hey, I have to this for, of course, Monica. I have that one too for Monica. Oh, damn, you got it. I got that. No, I just need issue three. And I think I have every Beta Ray Bill issue that he has like independently. All right, here we go. Black Panther. Uh, I have a lot of Black Panther, but not as much as anybody would think. Uh, It's just spread across multiple volumes. I have most of the issue ones. I don't have the issue one done by J. Scott Campbell. What is so? This is issue. Is that issue one? This is issue two of I think volume three. Yeah, I had that one, but that's not the, so that. Yeah, it's in my um, long boxes on my table. I have of the volumes after that. Yeah, the weird uh, thing about a lot of these comics back in this era is that the size of them are incredibly different from any other comic yes. book in this era. They were trying to say money. Like that one was from 1987. This one's from like 2000 and maybe seven or so. So you see, they're just completely different size. It's a quarter inch to a half inch. Yeah, I I don't know what caused Marvel to go to that kind of printing, but they were broke AF. Every little bit counts. I guess it matters. Hey, Tacoma, guess what? I got your package, and we're going to be showing it on the show on Wednesday. Oh, snap. Black Panther 5. 6. Hey, Puff, what's up, man? Sean, hey. (laughs) We're going to be showcasing some Panthers. Black Panthers. Ooh, that's just go, isn't it? I believe so. No, I don't, man. I wish I did. The only um, hip hop variants I've got is I've got Nighthawk, um, Extraordinary X Men, um, Vision, and Scarlet Witch hip hop variants. So four of them. You showing my people package? Oh, you showing wish- people my package? Yeah, Tacoma, I'll be showing that on Not Near a Mint show on Wednesday night because Wednesday night, I, I imagine, we're probably going to be uh, talking about uh, Chadwick and Black Panther and all these things. And thank you so very, very, very much, Tacoma. It's right here, right underneath another box. Or on top of a box. Tacoma hit me up too, man. He's been sending too much kindness. It's it's infectious. I don't know what this is. 
It's what issue, number? It's issue 26, but it's a newsstand, and it has this Marvel milestone. It's awesome. So I don't know if I have a real 26 or a reprint or what the hell this is. Well, uh-oh. That's the money. I have this, but it was up on the wall. I'm taking it down for now. But uh, I have issue two. I I have the issue one. So issue two, three, four. I have a good chunk of this now. Four. And this one, I only start at three and five. So I need a one and a two and a four <laughs> and, a, and a six. I got a seven. It's not bad. And that's the Black Panther that I picked up all on Friday night, all as that news came across. So issue 324 of Captain America, Zep cover. First appearance of the slug. He had a really nice copy of the champions. And every time I keep seeing this book, it's always beat to hell. Is number three a key? I, I don't know. I guess I could look that up. Let's do that. Just want to make sure I don't lose that. Issue uh, 573. All right, those champions, let's find out. Issue one and issue seven. Issue one is first team appearance of the champions. Seven is first dark star. First is Yuri Petrovich. Uh, for, he becomes the fourth Crimson Dynamo. Eight is the first Crimson Dynamo. And 14 is the first Swarm Lord of uh, the Killer Bees. I'll take your word for it. Now, I don't know if you have, Ooh. but he had this in there, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, last issue. Because I'm trying to put together, not a run, but most of the key issues. Yeah. I found like six of those in the like 50 cent bin one time and nabbed them all. Oh, nice. So you have this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who, who do you think you're talking to? I don't have that one. You can give that one to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one was in pretty nice shape, too. That's he rad, dude. Yeah, he was planning to send this one off to get graded. So uh, this one, now that it's in my collection, uh, it's not going anywhere to get graded. <laughs> oh, it's good. Hey, hi. What's up, man? What happened? Sorry, I was uh, saying, hey, Hack, what's up? And uh, a repeating uh, Tapia's, oh, it's going. And uh, Chi Ravis says, champion seven or eight are spec books. Really? Because of Crimson Dynamo? I don't know much about uh, the uh, lineup regarding champions. I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking that's going to be spec as a result of uh, Black Canary, or Black, not Black Canary, Jesus, um, Black Widow. All right, go ahead. Show a chunk. That's one quarter. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm debating on what other chunks to show, but I'm just going to show this. It's an amalgam of... <laughs> oh, no. Hold on, I'm here. I'm here. First, I'm here. are you okay? Second, are the comics okay? The comics are okay. I'm okay. The uh, Chromebook is who gives a okay. <laughs> All right. So this is a chunk, and then it's um, a mixture of like AOKs or trades or um, little El Cheapo bin finds. Dark Star. Go to and so this I got from Southern Comic Geek uh, Atlas Comics is uh, Planet of the Vampires number one. I was particularly excited. A world gone men, six astronauts return to Earth and find it ruled by vampires. What can these beautiful, campy looking people do about that with the little gray guns? 
What do they, what do I mean really? What's going to happen here? So I've heard it's a super fun story, and I'm really excited about it. And I'm very grateful for um, Southern Comic Geeks. He also hooked me up with a lot of um, Squirrel Girls that I needed. So now I only need four more Squirrel Girls, and I have the entire run. So I'm sure all of you really tough guys out there are super jealous of me. I know, I know. Probably super jealous of this one, too. Um, another mm -hmm. one that I got from Southern Comic Geek. Uh, we're doing a trade, basically, and uh, I'm very appreciative of it. Meow, meow, thank you. Hey, what's up, Black Comics? And T. Ravis, this apparently is the, is it Our Man? The Our Man? Um, yep. Right? Uh, yep. Anyways, I found that in a little El Cheapo bin, but it's Alex Ross. I love him, and uh, I couldn't leave him. Uh, I like a good cover that there's no breaking on the black, you know what I mean? Um, Hercules, Prince of Power. Uh, this is the one in the four issue series. So I actually had the other number one and I found this and was super excited. And then I found that and this in the, uh, sorry, 50 cent bin, uh, X-Force number 12. It's Clay Clayton Crane. Or is that the Kyle Yost uh, story yes. or is that the, oh, yes. okay. Um, so, uh, um, Clayton Crane's actually going to be in Murfreesboro this coming, uh, like a week or so. And so I'm going to try and go, cause that's only like 35 minutes away. I'm going to see if I can get maybe a Siggy. Um, Thanos and Huh? Just throw on a hazmat uniform. Yeah. Um, or wear a mask. Um, Thanos <laughs> imperative, um, four, six, this is like on the 50 cent bin. It's not in the greatest shape. I don't care because awesome. Bro, another 50 cent bin um, find. Steranko homage, cable number nine. Killer. Zorzinski. I can't, I mean, don't, I butchered it, I'm sure. But he's, you know, on this and Olivetti. So, man, what a great homage. Um, I always love a good Steranko, uh King Size Hulk homage. This was a gift from Mr. Tacoma Comics. Holy moly mackerel. It's the bitch planet. I think it's the first, I want to say it's the first 10 issues, but I have to make sure because I don't know because there's a lot of stuff I don't know. But um, one of the great things about this is that it's signed on the interior by Kelly Sudaconic and it says, fuck shit up. Dude, that kills, man. I just love that so much. So this is just a, an amalgam of things that I've gotten recently. Um, I can show another little tiny chunk. Um, let's see here. I'll show this little chunk, and then um, next time I show a chunk, it's going to be Black Panther, okay? All right, so this is going to be War of Realms Omega. This is a number one. This is actually where this is the first time that Jane Foster is betrayed as the new Valkyrie. So if you didn't know that, get this book. Um, nice to see you, Mike Mark the Cuddy. Um, like has been smashed. Boo! Um, here's Valkyrie number one, Al Ewing, and um, oh, who's he? What's it? It's Jason Aaron. Al Ewing and Jason Aaron on this. Um, uh, number one, this is... Number two, look at that, bro. I am so game for a Pegasus. I am, I'm like team Pegasus here, man. Uh, number three, another team Pegasus. Uh, let's see. Number four, this is a Mary Jane variant. Um, it's super fun, great running. Yes, it's a great story. Yes. Floating heads cover, Rob, right? Am I right? Am I right? You are right. Have you read? Have you read this, Rob? You've read this, right? I started reading it. It was good until I realized I was skipped on one of the issues. Oh shit! Well, um, number six, twenty twenty variant. Not my favorite, but I just wanted to get the the issue. Uh, number seven. What? What? Marvel's medics assemble. Cool. Um. This one is number uh, eight, where she and Thor 
uh, you know, have a little uh, talk about the Black Winter, I guess. Um, nine is, uh, again, got some uh, intertwining of the uh, Thor series, and um, I don't have number 10 or anything else past this, but this is a great, great series. Um, yeah, uh, I got one in my Walmart pack. Choopa choop poop. Bitchin'. Um, Rob, do you want to go double? Boom. We went double. What's going on? I I'm looking at messages. So, um, Instagram. I'm gonna enter my I'm gonna enter my Instagram. Rob, will you enter your Instagram as well in the uh -huh. chat? Um, okay. Is my IG. So basically all you're gonna see is sarcastic memes and pictures of comics. Hmm. I believe that we have Mr. Pedro Ordone that is watching right now. Uh, he does the BTL collectible show, and you can find that on Facebook. It's called, yeah, BTL collectible show. So here is chunk? the next. Yep, uh, I'm ready to go. So chunk it out. Chunk it now. Chunk it good. Chunk them comics like mm -hmm. you should. <laughs> Rob looks weird when he's not in a suit. Sorry, Rob. It's true. Uh, this is what I look like when I'm just bumming around in a flash shirt. Uh, flash shirt suit, yes. I wish I had a flash suit. Uh, flash shirt and Iron Man PJs and, uh, uh, I don't know, a Marvel mask. So here, uh, I remember you saying a while back, there's a second print of this? Yeah, here it is. I found it at uh, his... His collection. So now I have the first signed by uh, Walt Simonson and now the second print. Yeah. Since I'm trying to put together a run of first run of the uh, <coughs> Hawkeye by Matt Fratch and I have issue one, two, now I have three. I don't have any of the others. Howard the Duck, I started reading the first issue. Now I really got to get into this. I knew it was Chip Zdarsky, and I just never got around to it. But I picked it up from the collection, and I got this. And the second one, which also happens to be, you know, first appearance of Gwenpool in the book. Now I'm starting to, and I know that he has all of them there, <clears throat> but I just have to go back and keep digging. So I wound up picking up three of the issues of uh, Craven's Last Hunt. So how many did you have before? Are these the only three that you have now? Yeah, I wasn't much of a Spider-Man collector from before, like, 1980s or so. So I didn't have much from even the 80s and before. So uh -huh. I'm, I'm picking them up now. I'm late cool. to the game. It's like yeah. Captain America, Thor, Iron Man. Yeah, I'm good. Spider-Man that everyone would think that I'd have by now. Nope. Oops. So I got three, four, and a six. That's great. That's my exact goodness. And uh, it's a, also that newsstand, man. That's great. At least for the one. I have the trade paperback. Look at you, Brosif. Hey, two bros. So I got me finally, after you showed it uh, last week, the week before, finally got me a long shot number one. Now I just need to get two through six. Hell yeah. I have one in six. <laughs> I mean, it's Art Adams. How could I not have gotten it after all this time? Yeah, now, well, yeah. I didn't know any better, or there were other things to pick up, like every single fucking Wednesday getting new books. I know. So it, now it gives me a chance to go back and savor the good things, like way back in the day when you could say, uh, give me my money, honey, like Luke Cage. It, this isn't the issue that happens. In. I'll get to it eventually. So I picked up an issue six, a seven. The Wheel of Doom, 11, 12. Now it skips over and it changes its name to Power Man because I want to read a book about Power Man. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. Cool. 45.
Yes, for some reason, I am trying to put together a run of Luke Cage. It's, it's arduous, but I'll do it. <laughs> oh, uh, Lady Fantastic, I wound up getting a second copy of issue 50. Should I just go ahead and throw that in your box? Head to the yes. Thank you. You're welcome. So here's issue 54. This I always would see everywhere and was always beat up. So finally got a really nice copy. Not that it's, you know, important or key. 109. 114. Oh, I love that. The color. The stripes. I, I think this is John Barton. The one before, if he, if it would make so much sense if that yellow and black one was John Byrne, because it reminds me of yeah. Alpha Flight number three. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So either that or McCloud. Right. I'll this be is the right last in. issue of Power Man. Okay. This is the convention special. I can hold down the fort for a few. This is Power Man issue number one. The variant. You know, he's now wearing a gold suit instead of the weird thing with the lapels and the chain because uh, 70s for black exploitation wasn't a great period for representation. <laughs> but at least there was representation. It's like they were trying, but not that hard. You know, it's like going to school and saying, well, I kind of did my homework over the weekend, but they only spent 10 minutes doing it. It's like I thought about it. Now, having said that, it reminds me of Bart Simpson, where he baked a cake where it says, at least you tried, and then he just takes it over to the garbage can and throws it away. These are just some mighty Thors that I was missing. Jason Aaron. It's because of Lady Fantastic and Comics on the Mind that put me on Jason Aaron. You got to, bro. And are you thankful? I am, thank you. But now I'm going to have to finally get all the rest of these before I can you know, start reading it. Because it's worth it when I have all of them. It's not worth it to have like one or two missing and start it only to just stop, lose momentum, and kind of forget where I left off. Especially when you're reading 30, 40, 50 titles a month. You're just you know? like anal retentive like every other comic collector. Yeah, pretty much. And this is a shit tier condition copy of Marvel Team Up, but Still. I like Moon Dragon, and you know, that's all I was getting getting it for the read, not the condition. Cholo. Just like this. This is also in like shit tier condition, but I was missing an issue six, and I just refused to pay like five or ten dollars online on eBay, and then another five dollars for shipping, only for them to send it probably without any kind of cardboard or gemini or anything and it'll just look like this anyway so for a few bucks yeah, fine. listen to this guy hold on yeah. i'm a little bitch right, so, <laughs> so the last part of this chunk right here moon knight issue 56 this was the last issue that i needed to fill my run for uh stephen platt who has not really been operating very much in the comic book industry until the last issue of Detective Comics. So there you go. That's a nice big chunk that takes us into half of our, all the Marvel I was going to show. Over to you, Lady Fantastic. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, 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 okay. Um, here, let me grab my back. So... Let's do this. Let's do this. this is gonna be better. I've got like one little short box on one side, one little short box on the oh, it needs to be like to my face, I guess. Okay. This is gonna be the Huglin and Ramita run the Black Panther. And this is number one, but this is an uh, an Esad Ribich uh, variant for uh, Black Panther. And then, uh, oh, this is not as, that's a little, uh, it's a little awkward. Okay, and then this is number one, the uh, standard Ramita cover. Um, just beautiful. I love this series. Um, and I should probably do this. It's just a smart. I just, uh, I'm not a thinker. I'm not a planner. 
Uh, let's see. And number two, a kind uh, AOK -okay from William Smallwood. Uh, thank you so much. This is the second or like this is um, first appearance of Shuri, his sister. And uh, number three. I don't have number four, I believe. So it goes to five on the Panther Mobile. I don't know what you call it. Um, number six. Jesus. Some of these are so great. I got something to post to you, Mr. Whack. Number seven. Oh, what? Come on, man. Come on, man. Respect. Uh, Mr. Smallwood. Yes, Mr. Boo. Woo. Uh, number eight. It's an epic. Epic cover. Storm is like a total boss. She's like a lioness. Don't argue with me. You can't. Prove me wrong. Number nine. Oh, wow. Wild Kingdom four four. Um, number ten. Love the uh, colors used. They're blowing my mind. Great cover. It's just living great cover. Um, number eleven. Beautiful homage to Enter the Dragon. Um, oh, you know, these co these covers are just so beautiful. And so, yes, obviously I'm slightly biased, but I would suggest you get them all. Um, number 12. Oh, is that? Who is that? That is, I don't know. Ra round? Round? Run on? Rananu? I don't know. Rihanna? I'm, I'm dumb. 12. Whoever it is, it's great. Oh. And uh, I'm doing your name a disservice. What's up, Jaguar? Mr. Pablo Ordone just uh, texted me saying earlier, yes, those were, in fact, John Byrne covers. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so it makes so much sense. Oh, this is just killing me, man. This right here, this is high art. Um, hey, Puff, what's up, my, my friend? Um, 14, you know, look at all these fancy ladies. And he's just like, who? Isn't this a, what a predicament to be in. I'm sure you fellows would just really, would hate this stuff. You don't want, you'd really not want any of these ladies to be upset with you. No, and, uh, no, you would not. Injection stuff, man. And then, well, obviously it's Storm because she's freaking Billy Badass. Right. She is a queen, a goddess, freaking lioness, just, yeah. She's one T'Challa can rely on. But you know what? I'm not like a relationship person, like counselor or what have you. So, Hudlin, this is number 16. Oh, I just love these. Um, what we talk about here is don't invest in relationships. Invest in comic books. About relationships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, oh, my God. Look at. Oh, meow, meow. I'm sure that's yeah. supposed to be a panther, but number 17. I love it, dude. Yes. Storm is the one and only choice. My queen. Precisely. Uh, ooh, 27. I just love this art, dude. So he is with what looks to be a, at least half the Fantastic Four. Um, and then we go to 28, which is Marvel Zombies. You got that Soidum cover. Oh. Man, this is like only about 72% of them represented there. Oh, sweet. You know what I mean, Vern? 
It's just great. Oh, yeah, um, Marvel Zombies. Yeah, Marvel Zombies. And hey, um, I just won the auction. Uh, Soydum. Oh. Well, his little holes filled back in, but he's still kind of bit of peg leggish. Um, that's an issue with the face. Um, twenty nine. I don't know what you do with that. And then um, thirty. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. I love it. So there you go. And then I have um. Issue 31. Sorry if I'm taking too long with these, but, like, I really love these. I love my Black Panthers, and I'm really kind of bummed just because a lot of shit's happened, man. This year has been a stupid... It's been stupid. And this is 32, um, I believe. Yeah, it's issue 32. So the thing is surrounded at what looks to be, well, uh, thing, Black Panther, uh, Storm, and Johnny Blaze. Or not Johnny Blaze, but uh, Human Torch. And then finally, uh, 33. Boom. Yeah. So, sorry it took so long, uh, but I reserve the right to take my time on my Black Panther. So, um, thank you, meow meow. I'm gonna go back to you, Rob. Oh crap! Then I hope I didn't knock you out of the thing. Yeah, the hell with Rob. He only has these dumb new mutants to show. Screw you, Rob. And oh my God, there are a lot of new mutants that I have in here, and you will see in just a second. They're not all keys, and you'll see why, because I am trying to put together a full run of new mutants. So here is issue Same two. Piece. And not everyone is going to be in, like, super fantastic condition. This one's the first appearance of Saline, or Celine. Shut up. To be like the old <laughs> Saline. Right, she's supposed to be like the oldest living mutant or something. <laughs> Ooh, to us, for the longest time, this was just another issue of mutants. Uh, <laughs> first appearance of saline. Oh my god. Saline. As in the kind of saline you inject into your uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> just Got me on eleven. If I didn't say it before, hello. Oh, is that Fle Surgeon Generals? Is that this? Is that um the uh, editor's month ad ad assistant editor's month issue? It is. Uh, New Mutants so. Eleven. I don't have that one. I need to get that mother lover. It is assistant editors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> oh my God. Don't I? What happened? I just knocked like um two things over. That's all. Only two. It was only an Action Comics one, right? Yeah. I don't have that kind of... Nope. Not that. No, this, is... All right, this is the first Doug Ramsey cipher. He's the character that we all hated in the, this book until you realized he could talk to computers and like 30, 40 years later that actually makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> right? Issue 15, I already have. 15, 16, oh no, 16, I don't have. We got 19. This is the second Demon Bear. Demon Bear. This is some think of this. Think of this. That's some Barry Windsor Smith. Very cool. Nothing really happens between like 50 and 60. I have a big chunk of New Mutants too. Noise. Oops. Oh. 
But this is a Mike Mignola cover. Very nice. He also did some Alpha Flights back then, too. He was just starting to get, like, his flavor. That's before he really was getting more experimental. Yeah, by the time he was working on Aquaman, those covers were <laughs> yeah, it was quite a bit experimental. He was on in straight Hellboy mode, dude. <laughs> now here's where we're getting into where that uh, guy, Mister Liefeld, came over right off of uh, fresh from doing Hawk and Dove, where everybody was so sick and tired of working with him that even the editors in the last issue were throwing in their help much that they were just glad that he was done with the book. They'd never have to work with him again. Who was this? So instead he went to Marvel to piss people off. Rob Liefeld. Oh, God. Man, man child. Yeah, this issue was only the cover by him, but it was just a demonstration of things to come. Look at all the feet. But hey, at least he made an attempt on a hand. Jesus. Uh, issue 86, first cameo a cable. And I go through 89. I already have the 87. I don't have an 88. So 90. Ninety one. I'm wondering if do not do I need to go through mine and show them, but I probably don't. And I don't. I'm missing a ninety-three, but I'll probably find one soon. I'll have to let you know which ones I have. Ninety-five. Proof that Rob Liefeld was capable of drawing feet, or that Todd McFarlane could draw over it. I don't. I don't think Todd McFarlane did the inking on this. But hey, there's a foot by Rob Liefeld. And I'm pretty sure Lady Fantastic played that in a contest once. No, I lost that cover from Son Bub. Bitch. Well, Bub, to be fair, has books that would put me to shame. Bub's a turd in a in a the kindest way possible. Yeah. In nice guy, way. but he's a little too good at talking shit. Little butt nugget. And since for some reason I'm working on a, a run of ROM, say that three times fast. Issues two. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> With child. She's not actually pregnant. I know, dude. <laughs> Just like a big P on her belly. That sounded weird. <laughs> I think that sounded worse. <laughs> but hey, we don't kink shame here. No kink shaming. All right, issue 53, A Tomb of Dracula with some blade on the cover. I still have yet to get me a tomb number 10. I don't know if it's happening this year. I'm okay with it, though. As long as I get my... Ooh, I'm jelly. Now I have to get issues... 30 or issues 31 through 34. So you just, you're such a bow. No, I have the whole rest of the series. Oh, so that's just the last one? Yeah, this is the last issue. And I had the whole series all the way up till issue 30 or 29. And then all of a sudden I'm like, hey, where's the rest? I thought that was it. But to be fair, right around this time was when my life went to shit. So there's a lot of things that I was missing. Kind of oh. like avenging Spider-Man number nine, which I'll get soon. But hey, I found this. Now I finally had, because I had for the longest time two through five, finally got them one. And since I've been really on a kick for Korvac lately, I got a what if number 32, if uh, they all did become pawns of Korvac. Aren't we all pawns of Corvac? Oh, always. If Corvac is, uh, you know, the computer system uh, in the simulation in which we're living. Yeah. What you said. So, Wax says, what if my kink is being kink-shamed? 
But look at the one above what Wax says is Ace. Streaming is my kink. Okay. So, yeah. Um, it looks like did the, if you do those kinks neutralize one another? I guess. Are they so. like zero? Eat my ass if you're okay with it. I don't know. Speaking, speaking of things that are really bad that can happen to you, the Angel loses his wings. Oh, that's a surprise. Not like that's a recurring fucking theme. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm a turd. And there's another cover with a guy from a movie that nobody really dug too much. Mr. Probably Blue Stick. Apocalypse. And here's one of my centerpieces because I've been looking for this for quite some time. Bro, I've been looking for it, but I've never was, pulled the trigger. Uh, this one here was almost neutralized by that Fallen Avengers or Fallen Sun, which I had for the longest time. And it was just a dollar book until I saw it on Key Collector and went, Wait a second, I know I have that, and I know I paid cover price the day it came out. This, I'm sure, was a bit more. Did you pay 30 to $60 for it? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I bought it in a in a huge, huge, huge bundle. Oh, okay. Uh, so you did like a two deal. days. It doesn't so, matter. So, I mean, for all I know, maybe I paid $10, maybe I paid 100 I, I honestly Dude, don't. that's still awesome, man. That's the way you do it. Yeah, I like to buy in bulk, and the only thing that I have less now left now, so you can go next, but the, all this left now are some naked comic books. Mm. All of which are Wonder Woman and Deadpool from the first run. So go ahead, take it away. Come on. So I want to show you guys how I've been building up my Marvel Age, all right? So this is Marvel Age number one. And I think this is actually the first appearance of, like, Chris Star. Um, and then found number three. Look at that. Isn't that wild? Oh, my God. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, number 11. Kitty Pride and Mr. Wolverine go to the, what is it, no, uh, Japan, sorry. Uh, 18, Marvel Age. 32, I think that one's it's pretty cool. One big happy family. I like how Satch watches like shoulders are broad enough to encompass like four people. This is where, um, okay, Marvel Age 1, uh, Annual 1 or whatever, this is where it would hit in terms of the um, run timeline. And then Marvel Age 50, where they put out all those trash books. Sorry. Just my opinion. And, oh, and 51, come on, look at that. That's too cool, man. Uh Shot up the sign. I love it when they mess with the signs, with the titles. Like it's a physical entity. Um, Silver Surfer, it's issue 52. Oh, I didn't really, I was like 50, 51, 52. Look at me being all fancy pants. Uh, 55, look at that. Oh, my bad. My fault. So that's really cool. Anyway, yeah. And uh, I love this one. Just he went very James Bond, but it's uh, Namor. Uh, this is 84, issue 84. Rob, can you mail me all your Wonder Womans? Um, oh, I found this one, uh, issue 99, uh, Black Panther. Oh, yeah, I just recently found this one. Um, Ooh, Marvel Age 122, uh, X-Men's 30th anniversary. Ooh, wowza. And then um, 128, this is uh, a Texera piece. It's just so badass. Peter David on. The yeah, right. Um, and 
issue 138. This is a celebration uh, remembering the king, uh, Jack Kirby. Homage to him. And uh, that's all I have of my Marvel Age. Rob, do you have any more you want to show? I have a few things. Okay. Especially now that I have Ace here, uh, she wants my Wonder Woman's. And after she sees a couple of them, she might not want uh, a few of them anymore. <laughs> it was only the other day when I was on another channel uh, and I was taking them all out of bags and boards. One of my went, ah! And you'll see why in a second. Um, <laughs> there's a reason why Pablo was saying that, yeah, I'm not going to be charging out the ass for these Wonder Woman. I know you gave them to me from like pennies on the dollar. And they were not bagged and boarded, some of them. And one of them was bagged and boarded. I'm like, this is kind of like a little puffy. I wonder why that is. So here's a 52 and a 98. The 142, this is an Al this is an Adam Hughes that has a little spine split up there. Uh, but no, not spine split. This is the one that had the this thing was folded completely back. So I opened it up and I'm like, oh, what happened to this? <laughs> but luckily I have a press. This one here, uh, newsstand, which would be awesome if it wasn't for the fact there's a little split spine right there at the top. But hey, That's I'm great. just trying to put together a run. I'm not trying to put together a 9-8. So here we got some Deadpool 29, 28. I guess they're, these are all going backwards. Oh, they're going backwards so I could put them in bags and boards and they'd be in order. No, it makes sense. I have reasons for my stupidity. Is that a Tony Hawk ad? Love it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Ace doesn't want to trade. She just wants him. G26. This is all from the first run of Deadpool when it was campy as hell, just starting to break the fourth wall, just starting to understand who the Deadpool character was. Because when he was first introduced, he was a one-note kind of character. He was just some assassin in a red suit, no different than you know Slade Wilson, Deathstroke. And as Joe Kelly was working on this series, he broke the fourth wall, introduced a bunch of ridiculous characters, and set up the story pattern by which uh, Harley Quinn would follow years later. But the oh. first series of Deadpool, amazing. Uh, the one by Daniel Way is probably the best you're going to get for Deadpool. Everything else is just, it's good. Like, Merc, Merc with a Mouth was fantastic. I, I love that one. It was Headpool. And uh, the Lady Deadpool was kind of fun. Gwenpool? Huh? Oh, not Gwenpool. Lady Deadpool. Yeah, I know. There's a Lady Deadpool. There's a Headpool. This is just a zombie that's a detached head. But as you can see back here, that is the Great Lakes Avengers. Is there a booty pool? Mm, there should be, though. It would make more sense. There's an ass pool. No, I'm kidding. No. And issue five, and coming up to the earliest issue that I have of Deadpool, and then just an issue number four of Wonder Woman that's kind of out of order. And those are all the issues that I picked up. This was a few hundred dollars worth of comics. Hot dang, brother. Well, is there anything you'd like to show? I think I showed uh, everything. Okay. I mean, the only thing that I really haven't shown is uh, behind me, the, the wall set up. I made it less cluttered, so they're, they're not just back-to-back. -back. And if I try pulling one out, I'm always worried that, despite the fact I put, like, three, sometimes four backing boards in each one of those, just because I'm afraid they might fall. Because if they do, you'll blow out a corner. By having more backs in them, you know, there's less of that chance. Doesn't mean that they're not going to happen. All so right. So I think I'm going to um, end this thing with uh, 
which will not write the second. I'm going to end it by showing my Doom 2099 from the original back then run. It's it consists it consists of uh, 44 issues. I do not have all of them, but I do want to show you what I have because I've been trying to get them all, and I do have uh, the majority. I would say um, it, it, I do have the majority based on math. So, anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. Is that cool? Um, pretty great 90s stuff. Um, was it worth it? To me, yeah. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. So this is just um, this weird chromium standalone 2099 AD um, story. So I just kind of put it in the front. I wish it would show more of the color, but it's got this reflective chromium thing, but whatever. Um, so here's th there's that. Uh, and then Doom 2099. I have a couple of uh, copies they're nice, but they do have like ticks, but they don't break the color. I just don't know like how successful one would be in actually pressing that and not having a color break. Um, number two, number two, um, number three, number four, number five. Number six, Steven Spock Reflection, bro. Number seven, what's that a cover uh, swipe of? Not uh, X Men 101, huh? Fine. One, uh, so number eight. I was muted. Oh, her <laughs> 109. Sorry, 109. <laughs> Just number nine. Ten. <laughs> so uh, Eleven. <laughs> uh, Twelve. Skirt. What is it? Love it. Uh, Thirteen. Fourteen. And then hold on. That's, that's not all I have. That's not, that's not all I have. Um, oh my god. All right. Um number fifteen. And then it jumps to twenty, okay? So I don't have uh sixteen through nineteen. So 20, 21, uh, 26, there's a jump, look at that, don't, bro, And it's also of that same kind of like chromey thing. But anyways, it shows Mount Rushmore with uh, Doom's face. I'd rather have Doom's face than an orange shit Gibbons face, but nobody asked me. Um, let's see. Number 30. Look at that, man. Tanks and shit. Bro. This is excellent. Uh... 31, this is America. I'm feeling it. Uh, oh, 32. And the later ones are killer and they're harder to find. Oh, yeah. Uh, 33. Oh, that's nice, bro. Mm -hmm. What do you see on this art, bro? I'm gonna figure that out. Um, thirty-four. Our leader. Boom. A dub. I believe in doom. Our leader. 
I know. 35. All right now, Doom from Goomas Fitzfather. Ben Doom. Ben Doom. 36. It's a 44 issue um, run. Woo! No. It's a lot of uh, 37. Bro. Broskis. 38. Oh my God. The doom thing. 39. Do you have the last issue? Um, 40. I don't have the last issue. I have up to, I think, 43. There's some floating heads. Um, 41. 43. I thought it was great. So I've only read through issues. Um, so it only, I only have it through 15. So I've only read through 15 because I can't stand to st uh, skip. It's just a thing. It's a thing. Absolutely. But anyways. I want to get the whole run. And so, like, I need, I mean, maybe 10, 10 left. I need to write it down exactly which ones, but yeah. All right, man. Do you have anything else? Just the fact that this was a great read because if you haven't gotten a chance to re uh, watch Batman Mask of the Phantasm, it is probably the best. Uh, I'm not even going to argue this. It's the best Batman movie ever made. And it's, about maybe 70 minutes long and it does more in 70 minutes than any of the other Batman movies combined. I'm really hoping they bring in the uh, Phantasm. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Well, I'm sleepy and I have to do some adult stuff before I go to bed. So I'm going to sign off, but I'm really glad that I got to hang and that we got to show our books and be little kids. You got some awesome stuff. Um, I've been, today has been kind of, or sorry, not today, but this last week has been in some ways like kind of really crappy. And then other ways, like I've been getting smashed unexpectedly by all these AOKs. So it's like, um, man, things aren't so bad, huh? The world the world works in mysterious ways. For so. every bad thing that happens, we have some good things happening. Like, you know, I had a, several losses in the last couple weeks. Um, you know, we have also lost a community member. I have this from. Did you make you big. Oh, uh, well, I'm not. I'm not going to open this now. I'm going to open this Wednesday on our show. Uh, Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the Not Near Mint channel. It's Lady Fantastic, myself, uh, Comics on the Mind, and Miracle Man. And we're not 100% uh, certain what we're going to be talking about this week. But something. Something. Yeah, it's always a discussion. We're going to be doing an interview. And we're going to be showing comics to come out on Wednesday and probably some more uh, hauls that we wind up getting over the course of now and then. Because, yeah, there's several more days until Wednesday. There's never a 50 cent bin that I didn't want to go through. All right. We're out. Thanks so much for um, hanging and uh, you guys be safe. It's going to be Monday, but uh, you know, uh, squeeze you your third eye, align your chakras, find that collective conscience and be cool, man. Yeah. Even it's if you're a DC it's okay to wear a mask because you know you, you might hate doing it, but just just do it. Team Fandom. Did I just say that? I'm Marvel.